Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to walk my MBA 610 class through a real estate example using Excel for information systems for management decisions. And what we have here is a comparison between two properties. We have a vacation rental property at Anna Maria Island, and we have a moderately priced yearly rental property, two different properties, okay? The purchase price on the different properties, the beach house is a million dollars, the regular rental that rents you know all year round with a yearly lease is 150,000 for the purchase price the equity to close which is the down payment uh, necessary uh, 250,000 on the million dollar property and 50,000 on the $150,000 property normal rental property um, here's our rents here for the normal one that's the yearly one it's the uh, the market says 1500 a month times 12 months would be 18,000. You may have a bit of a vacancy rate to uh, put in there which would take away 900 a month when it's not being rented on average. Um, vacation rental property, that's a little bit different. That only rents for so many weeks out of each year. Winter weeks in Florida of course rent, rent uh, a lot and that's your high rental period. Your peak rental period, uh, say it rents for 12 weeks at $3,600 a week, would bring in rental income of 43200 Now that's peak rental season, but then we have our off seasons and our shoulder seasons, which may only be like 20 weeks at uh, maybe seventeen fifty a week, a bit of a cut in price, a discount for those lesser, less desirable weeks, which may bring in 35000 a year. So um, we get a gross operating income there for the um, vacation rental would be 78200 which initially sounds really good um, for a, a yearly income for that house. However, the uh, monthly or the uh, yearly rental, the solid yearly rental, would bring in $17,100 a year. Now, let's go through the operating expenses. Uh, some the same, somewhat, and then yet somewhat different based on the two different styles of renting out. Um, advertising, you probably have more advertising expense with a vacation rental. Cleaning and maintenance is higher since you have to, as the owner, have it cleaned every time uh, a renter departs week after week after week. So that drives it up to $150 times 32 weeks of rental. Um, cleaning. Uh, every three years you need a, uh, for the, let's say the major, or the yearly rental one, might uh, be $100 every three years once uh, people move out. New people move in after a year or two. Um, and then commissions, um, you may have to pay a real estate agent to help you rent your property, maybe 500 bucks, And you may also seek help uh, from a real estate person um, to help you rent out your yearly rental as well. Um, insurance, obviously you have specialty insurance um, for each property. Um, vacation rental can be quite can get quite high depending on exactly where it's at close to water oceans rivers standard insurance uh, for a um, small rentals usually not too much to carry um, management fee that can eat into your profits for a vacation rental because you have someone near or on site to manage the rental for you unless in case you're not close by enough to do it yourself and we have fees for that, a lesser fee for the uh, yearly rental. Repairs, uh, usually vacation rental incurs more repairs, and it could be a lot more than that, obviously. Um, vacation rentals, you have to supply everything, where a yearly rental, you don't supply linens and and dishes and all that stuff. Uh, property taxes uh, for the more expensive vacation rental property, property taxes can be quite a bit higher than just a regular rental. Um, credit card expense percent if you're letting them pay by PayPal or credit card that this can be uh, you know two and three percent of each sale uh, utilities cable all that you provide to the vacation rental but you do not usually provide that for your regular rental HOA fees maybe for the vacation rental you may or may not have that for the the, the yearly rental uh, miscellaneous expensive obviously will be higher for the vacation rental and furniture replacement um, can be higher, obviously, for the vacation rental since it has a lot of turnover during the year. So annual expenses add up to these amounts, as you see here. Obviously, we just summed up 
um, our operating expenses and got 56000 for the um, vacation rental and only 7700 for the yearly rental. Expense ratio percent of gross operating income, over 71% for the vacation rental, 45% for the um, yearly rental. And we look at that, we take on the vacation rental, we take um, E43, which is our annualized annual expenses, um, and we divide that by E21, which is our gross operating income here. Okay, and that gives us our percentage. The net operating income is the equation of, push that in there, E21 minus E43. So E21 is our gross operating income minus E43, our annual expenses, gives us 22150 for our net operating income. And um, on the yearly rental, that gives you a net operating income of not over 9000 So even those properties are a lot different in price, but it starts narrowing down here as we get to this bottom line. Now, we have yet to figure in the mortgage payments. Um, 48000 a year for the vacation rental and 6000 a year for the yearly rental. Net income actually goes negative for the year for that vacation rental and um, actually still stays positive at 32, over 3200 for the yearly rental. And then when we do, um, and obviously the formula for that is E47 plus E49. So that's E47 plus E49, considering that's negative, brings you down to negative 26,000 for that one over that. And same thing there for that column for the uh, other rental. So you can see this one's already in the red, this one's still in the black. Now, if you do cash on cash returns, we want to do what percentage do we come out with of our return on our investment. Um, E51 is our net income divided by E11. If I scroll back up, that's the initial down payment, the actual cash, cash outlay we had to put it out there. So what's your return on your $250,000 you initially put down for the vacation rental? And that would be a negative 10%. Actually, on the um, yearly rental, you have a positive 6.5% um, return. So you have a negative 10% return. Here it means you're losing money and you on the vacation rental, and you have a positive 6.5% return on the yearly rental. Obviously, all fictitious numbers, but just to let you see how um, things can may look really uh, good on the uh, outside but once you get into the numbers um, where you really make money on this particular case is on the yearly rental thanks for your time